Upper Crust Bakery. Wow, this place. I love finding little jewels of places where you would like to be and show them to you. Some people are gluten free, so we're going to be spending time with Sarah Beard today. She's going to be cooking some gluten free stuff that is amazing. So don't change your channel, stay right there because we're going to be right back having a good show. Today. You know me, I love to find good places to eat, fun places to eat, with people who are local, who have ventured out, started their own business, and have a fabulous place to go in. And that's where we're at right now, Upper Crest Pie and Bakery. I got that right, didn't I? You did. I'm with Megan and Maria Gregory, and I have fallen in love with this place. You guys are absolutely fabulous. Thank, Thank you. you. How did this all come about? What happened? Oh heavens, after 47 years in healthcare, um, Megan was finishing grad school. I had just recently finished grad school at my age, and we decided that we wanted to collaborate and go together and do something. She has a background in art. I have a background in nursing. But we did, um, when we made the decision to do it, uh, I hired a chef. Um, that came in to help me mm -hmm. and so we spent two years together Wow! and uh, he would come into my home every week and we'd have our assignments and he would bring me up. I actually sent him to the French pastry school in Chicago and then he would come back and train me sure. as to what needed to be done um, so that we could work together and yeah. then we just simply pulled all the elements together. Megan has um, her studies were in art, art history, so we decided to make um, a gallery as well as a pastry shop. That is so cool. We felt that um, what was missing in Raleigh was a place where you could go and get really fine pastries. Yeah. Everything we do is uh, fresh baked, hand rolled, fresh ingredients, local ingredients, and uh, we feel that food is an art. Well, so we just combine the two elements together. That's beautiful. And that's where you come in. Yes. The art degree. You just have that. I have the artistic eye. I bring in my art um, friends and local artists. National artists come in every two months, put up their artwork, and then tie it in with pie. Dessert. Mm. Delicious. You know, I, I love going out, like, a little bit later in the evening on the weekend, maybe eating somewhere. But then just go find a nice place to sit down, have some coffee, have a nice uh, piece of pie or cake or something like that. And that's, that's what you guys are providing this for the city. Place. Well, we wanted to have a place that uh, created an ambiance of just almost quietitude, such that people could come without uh, the influence of television, quiet music, um, be able to enjoy a piece of pie or a piece of cake instead of having just to go in and buy the whole thing. Yeah. And then come in and enjoy and take your time. So what's your favorite thing to, that you have baked so far? Well, my favorite thing is um, our pies. That's what I love. All of our pies are uh, family recipes that came from Virginia. Really? Mm -hmm. And they have been handed down for generations and generations. The base pecan pie uh, recipe is over 150 years old. And we just sort of kicked it up a notch and put bourbon and chocolate in it and created, I think, a real neat pie. I have to confess something. This is one of my favorite breakfast places to come in Raleigh. A lot of times I'll just come, and you guys are, are so willing to because I like to have just bacon and eggs. I don't want That's any toast or cool. potatoes or anything like that. We serve and breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we intentionally do things by the piece so that people can have what they want. They, aren't, they don't have to have something else. Um, we feel that if they, have, if they want bacon or if they want eggs or if they want a sandwich, we can accommodate their needs. Yeah. So it's, it's fun. It has working together been Trying at times, maybe. Mm -hmm. it's well, it's always. Down. I think we've always had ups and downs, but we were friends before we started mm -hmm. this. 
we so, knew what we were getting into. Mm -hmm. We knew there was going to be ups and downs, but with any relationship, business, family, love, whatever, there's going to be ups and downs. And you know, I've often said that because uh, I, I, I've, we have employees of our own, and sometimes you hear employees say, "Well, I'd really like to be in business for myself," and they really don't know what they're saying because it's these same people who don't show up on time don't do their jobs like they should and yet they want to run a business and that's not how you run a business so running a business is not all easy well, it's, no, it's it's not easy it's a real commitment yeah. I mean there are days where I have to be here at 2 a.m. and I don't leave here until 10 or 11 o'clock wow. p.m. there are days that she has something planned and I need have a need I have an employee that's called out or sick and um, she jumps in yeah so it's um, some days, you know, you really do tire of the demands and commitments, but it's what it is. It's what, the, it's what you do when you yeah. own your own business. Yeah. You don't have someone else that will step in and do it for you. Right. I love the statement, do what you love and love what you do. Well, I think you have to. Yeah. I think if it, I think if it becomes a job to you, then it's no longer it's not fun. fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you for having this wonderful well, place for people to come. Well, thank, thank you. you we appreciate you uh, showing our products. Oh, absolutely. I tell you, I know all the good places. Stay tuned because we've got more stuff coming up.